Hello and welcome to another episode of me painting again. Oh yeah, we're painting again. And uh, <laughs> you could see a dog that I painted recently. It's not a video because it took me too long. <laughs> Somehow I'll just show you it. Yeah, I did this uh, portrait. It worked out quite good. It just it takes a while to paint a dog. It does because uh, there's a lot involved in there. It's the same as painting anything else. It just uh, if you need it to be perfect for somebody, it needs to take time. Anyway, enough about that. Let's talk about this. This sketch I did in chalk ages ago, and uh, the plan was to paint it. But then I didn't really like the color scheme, so on the computer I changed it. <laughs> so we've got this now, and uh, I'm going to try and paint that, turn that into this. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I just used a piece of chalk and just drew this out a while ago, and uh, made a few measurements using my ruler, but mostly freehand, and, uh, and I've got my palette of colours. This has been covered in cling film really tightly, so I'm hoping the paints are still okay. Uh, they look like they are, but we'll soon find out. <laughs> Got a variety of colours, but we're not going to use all of them. Let's get a brush. So my brushes, I've left them in some oil so they didn't dry out. They're in some uh, linseed oil with a bit of uh, oil of cloves mixed in with it to stop it from drying out. So, there we go. I'm not very organised today, I'm really unorganised. <laughs> Damn, no professionalism. Right, let's get some orange. Is all right. So I want to start. Yeah, wait a minute. I want to start with this area here. Might put a bit of red in it as well. So we've got warm colours: yellow, orange, red, Venetian red. Uh, we've got some Viridian green, Naples yellow, Lizard crimson, Van Dyke brown, a bit of ultramarine blue, and titanium white. And we'll put extra colour on as we need them. And to be honest, I don't mind the paint that's uh, it's just about wet still. Because <laughs> actually, uh, one of my favourite painters used to wait till the paint is a bit like that to do their paintings for like, trees and stuff. You might have heard of uh, a Mr. John Constable. Yeah. So we'll get some of this on. Just around this area. I don't mind that it goes a bit dull in areas as well. Where, uh, like down here. And to be honest, I don't even mind seeing through the paint and seeing the canvas. I don't mind that either, because it's a quite a nice grey, so it doesn't really matter. Everything is going to go away, my way today, everything. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll do for that bit, let's get another brush. <laughs> it's another filbert brush. Get a bit of a wipe first. Now we, we want like a... Uh, this greyish colour next. So I'm thinking Lizard Crimson, Ultramarine Blue, bit of white.
Bit of the brown as well. So we're getting lacquer. We've got like a uh, a warm lavender. Oh, ho, ho, ho. and it's perfect. So I'm using that to scrub in some sky back here. So something I do when I'm mixing colours is I think about a printer. <laughs> think about a printer? What do you mean? Well, I think about the colours that the printer uses, because they only use a few colours, don't they? The white of the paper, the, uh, the blue, the red, the yellow, and the black. So you can always mix your colours when you think like that. You think of the like the magenta, the alizarin crimson, the uh, the blue, uh, sea and blue, isn't it? Or you can use whatever, like ultramarine blue. Or, and, or you can throw in a bit of cerulean blue if you need to. And the black, you could use ivory black. And then the white of the paper, you use white. So you can easily uh, mix all your colours using just a few colours. But you can make it even easier on yourself by having a few more colours in your parcel of paints. <laughs> Which is what I do. Get some blue, just change the flavour a bit there. So you can even change it to the way you want it to be. So at the original drawing I was going for the way it was for real, but I've totally changed the idea now. So I thought it was a bit boring. Nice bit of chalk. Amazing what a bit of chalk can do, isn't it? <laughs> so I need a, uh, a middle version now. So I might get a bit of the white in with this, sort of like in the middle. See if we can get a, uh, a nice tone. It's not bad actually. in the middle tone, an orangey, orangey colour, colour, orangey colour. Really warm this area up. So you can decide how bright or how dark you want your sky to be. This is just what I want to do. You make your decision. Okay. A bit more along here. You could paint one of these and uh, turn it into more of a, a Christmassy scene if you wanted. I mean, it kind of is anyway. Let's just sit back, have a look at that. Yeah, I quite like that so far. Looking pretty nice. Looking pretty nice. Make a bit more of that colour, the uh, crimson, brown, and blue. Go a little bit darker. That's a bit too, uh, too warm, a bit of blue in that. I just wanted a bit of a darker area up here.
de Venecia se va. Of course, you have to be careful when you're using your blues. But it's not too bad when you're using like an orange, you're all right, you're quite safe from it all going green. Is <laughs> when you use like a yellow, that's when you're in trouble. So we've got a bit of a brighter area. Just push, pull that in there like that. I think that's quite good actually. I might um, throw in a bit more. make decisions on what you want to do on the, maybe you want areas to be a bit lighter, a bit darker. sky. I quite like that actually. I don't think I need much more in the sky. What I might do though is add a bit more light in that in this corner because in the uh, reference because what I did is I took a photo near where I live and then just used that as my reference picture. Because that's what you can do, take pictures of where you are if you're thinking, oh, I want to put a sky in your painting and you don't know what kind of sky, then uh, take a photo and use that. <laughs> I mean, we've all, a lot of us have access to cameras now, don't we? <laughs> Especially on your phone. Oh, I'm getting a bit of light and I'm just going to splash some light in here. Light, just lighting this bit up. And you can sort of break it away. Yeah, could do with a bit of a bit of changes in this amongst this as well. Switch to more of a more of a bit of red in it, and then uh, have a bit of that in there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think I'll go with that. I think I'll go with that sky. Quite like it. Quite a yeah. Simple sky really, and now I'm going to start putting in some dark. Put in some dark areas. So I'm going to use a bit of ivory black actually. Ivory black. People say don't use black. I say do what you like. <laughs> People don't know what they're talking about, so you do what you like. That's the best way. So you get some red and some black. Make a nice warm black. It's just cadmium red and black, that ivory black. 
Nice warm blood. Just for me. <laughs> Let's get some of that in here. And uh, trees. Trees in there. Just sort of touch in with the brush here and there where we want a few like trees to be just poking over. Maybe there's some there as well. Didn't have them there in the original, but there probably would have been. Um, tree. Give it a touch like that. You're imagining all these branches. All these branches and things, and you just create them by touching like that. Okay. And then, uh, quite dark here. a little bit of a wipe. Now I'm going to pick up some uh, of this red and black just on this brush and then I can go start bringing in a few of these trunks and stuff. This is a long way off. ones in there. So we'll think about the different layers as well. Layers and layers and layers of trees. so it doesn't look like I've just gone and just darkened round it, which I did. <laughs> okay, so now, now we want to start blocking in the brown of this and then uh, we can start putting in the chimneys and things. Yeah, so, Just getting brown, brown. <laughs> I always find it hard to fill my palette because whenever I pick it up, I always end up with paint everywhere. <laughs> so it's really easy just to leave the palette there. I and mean, when you're painting at home, you're not gonna be picking your palette up, are you? <laughs> and uh, makes my videos a bit rubbish, not showing that, but. It's very difficult. It's a very difficult challenge. 
Well, they're not really tutorials, it's just me painting, really, isn't it? If you get something out of it, that's good. That's the way I think. Leave the window, the happy window. I do, I do enjoy uh, painting buildings. Whether it's just making them up or using uh, actual buildings that you're taking pictures of. I enjoy doing both. I'm just using a filbert brush as well. Doesn't really matter. You could do this whole thing with a knife if you wanted. Use whatever you want. Doesn't really matter. Be good to have the lights on rather than off. And have it sort of uh, evening like it is here in the, in the evening sort of painting. It's looking better already. And we change this a bit. I might just uh, block this in. Just leave the roof there. for the uh, chimneys. Right, let's just sit back, have a look at that. Now we want the orange for the windows. Yeah, some yellow and orange. Just, that's it. <laughs> Put that in the windows. Shouldn't worry too much if you end up picking up some of the brown. You can always go in with more paint, it doesn't really matter. That's the thing, uh, when, when I first started painting, I didn't think of that. <laughs> I didn't think, uh, when my colours started to get all muddy, that you just need more paint, just, you just need more pigment. There's no point in uh, trying to I was going to say polish a turd then. <laughs> you can't. Well, you can't, can you? It's not, it doesn't really make any sense. <laughs> you need to uh, put more paint on. Because if you have hardly any paint, which is useful, then you, if your other paint mixes with it, you end up losing the uh, colour. And uh, <laughs> I don't know why I said polish a turd. I think I've heard it in something. 
Um, yeah, you just need more paint. You just need more. More paint, painting better. And you could decide how orangey or how yellowy you want your light to be. You can decide that, totally up to you. And uh, the shape of the windows, I've kind of changed the shapes a little bit. And sort of shrunk them down a bit. There we go, we'll put the light on first and then there's the light here in that window. Put in Don't worry too much about that. Okay, now we make a decision. What do we do next? Thinking if I paint the roof in. Actually, I think what I'll do is I'll uh, use a knife and some brown. I use brown on my knife. Just cut across a little bit of the paint. And I think I'll do my windows. Blip. Like that. Yeah, I'll do. One, two, three, four. Yeah, we're gonna go with three. We'll go with three. And then a middle bit. Could have gone thinner. Mm. Mm, that's a bit better. None of them I might do. <laughs> well, I'm enjoying myself now. I might come back with some paint and go. Just add a bit more to it. get any uh, brown on your brush then you can just get rid of it, let's have a look at that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Gives it a bit more brightness, doesn't it? Quite like that. So we'll carry on with that then. That was our test. Because <laughs> you can do your windows the way you want them to be. Might add a lighter. Sort of a lighter brown on the outside. So 
Schon mal Lava. Okay, let's try this again. So we've got the middle bit. We can do the whole thing this time. About there. About there. That up a bit. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Fixed it. Okay, and then back into the other colours, the orange and the yellow. Using a bit of the lighter just to clean it up a bit there. Quite like that. I quite like the extra bit of colour that goes on top like this. Really adds a, a nice glow to the window. Yeah, and then I might, what I might do as well. Let's do this window first. Mm -hmm. Nice, nice. New windows. <laughs> Get some more of this colour. Let's just have a look at this. Yeah, it's about right. I can't be uh, messing too much. You know, sometimes I think I should zoom in a bit, but then what happens is I forget to zoom out. <laughs> and then the whole episode is ruined. Window. 
Yeah, quite like that. And then we've got the door, and there's some light coming from the door there. Why not? We'll put that there. <laughs> And the door's a bit green, isn't it? Use this door green. Something like that. And get a bit of ivory black. Get the other parts of the doors in. I can keep it nice and loose, it doesn't matter too much. Just sit back and have a look at your painting, see if you like what you're doing. Something else I might do. Using a bit of the red, Venetian red. A bit of Venetian red and brown. Um, thinking about just putting a little bit in here and there. Using the knife. Just add a bit of something. Something like that gives it a bit more something like that. Let's just sort of sit back, have a look at that. Quite like that. Might add a bit of it there. Break that up and then get a little bit of the orange, just have that bit of light sort of go in there. Maybe a bit of light hitting that. Go back to dark there. Right, let's have a look. So we wanted to do with a bit of brown in it. I want to do this here. I got a bit long.
Yeah, something like that. And now we can start. In fact, we can do this front as well using this colour. start putting in some snow on the roof. And we might do brushes up the gutter. <laughs> Use this dull but and I think I'll put like a a dull kind of bluey, purpley kind of colour on the roof first and then put a lighter colour on top of that to make it make the snow stand out and I might put snow in everywhere else as well so we need some snow <laughs> hmm so what I might do is use the palette I've got a palette and a palette <laughs> oh, I'm getting in the right mess. Right. A palette and a palette. So I'm going to do get some. Some crimson and some blue and some white to make this. It's quite a warm white, really. You can choose whether you want it to be cooler, which I might do. Just add a bit more blue in it. Locking it in. You get some brown um, wipe your brush, pick more of your bluey white colour. We don't worry about anything, we just carry on, carry on. Picked up a bit more blue there. So it's going to be a bit awkward doing this bit here. <laughs> Let's try and do it like this. Yeah, that's not too bad, is it? And then. Uh, This side of the roof as well. And then we've got these chimney pots, we've got the snow on top of. Bit of snow on top of there, bit of snow there. 
There's no there. And there. It can be there. <laughs> We've got a big tree here, so we don't have to worry too much about that. Uh, oh, we've got that roof. Got this roof here. There's snow on it. Some crimson and blue. Start putting it in the ground as well. Out there. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Might uh, just grab a bit of the dark, just put that in there. I'm just using my finger, <laughs> the finger painting. Decisions to make. Snow. Snow business like snow business. <laughs> Let's put some snow on here. A bit lighter now. Same here as well. There's some snow. Get a bit of blue and sort of create a bit of a path there. Some light either side. Oh, 
something like that. Something else I was thinking of doing was uh, getting a bit of the uh, blue and the crimson amongst this. Darkening that a bit there, just to make that a bit more obvious. And what I also might do get a little bit of snow, <laughs> a little bit of snow in with a little bit of yellow as well. See if I can put a bit there. to do that. Little bit. Yeah, and then we've got a tree. We've got a tree here. Let's use some of this black. We'll plant that in there. I might have one there as well. with a bit of white and sort of add the snow on top of it in areas it's more like that <laughs> Big, big tree on this side. We might put in now. Big tree. I'll just have it there. Like that. And then we can put a bit of snow on the top of that one as well. Quite like that. Now I want to put my wall in, get some of the black. Dark 
wall. And we'll go all the way across like that. Okay, and then want a bit of snow on top of that as well. Bit of the blue in the snow. Blue and white. to separate that. Um, <laughs> and then I could make a decision, maybe I want a little bit of light in areas, a bit of the uh, yellow, yellow light, maybe there's a bit in the, uh, the snow underneath. Put round the door, put in the doors a uh, letter box, door handle. You could do all kinds of, you could carry on and you can light under there. You can do all kinds of things. But I think I'll call this one finished. Quite like what I've got here. A little bit of warmth in there. Might even have a step there. Just a bit of a step there. Something like that. Yeah, and I think I'll call that one finished. Could add smoke coming out of the chimney. Something else I would do is bring some of this paint across. to get rid of some of these uh, areas, yeah that's better. Well you could keep going, you can keep going and going and going. Well, yeah, you could add a bit of smoke coming out the chimney, maybe. Something like that. But I think I'll call that one finished. So thanks very much for watching this one. Put myself a little bit of a JB in the corner and uh,
and say thanks very much for watching this. Hope it gave you some ideas on how to paint a scene like this. And I'll see you at another one. Cheers, bye.